Have you ever wondered what lies beneath our 250-year-old chateau? Well, today we're taking you underground. Are you ready? I'm wearing my coat. It's not that cold in here, but we are going to a very cold part of the chateau. Come on. We've actually never showed anybody what is behind this door here. It's our cab. Come on then. A cab is a basement, by the way, if I um, forgot to mention that. And you've got to mind your head, Philip, because there is some plumbing. Now you'll be regretting that you didn't bring a coat, Philip. No, it's not that cold. I think you're cold today. Well, we are open to the elements here, so. It's true, that's two proper holes. I think we need to explain why we have such a mess of cables down here. It's very easy explained. It's, all of this is temporary. Because when we bought the chateau, we did only have six radiators, but luckily there was this boiler here that produces hot water and heats the radiators, but we don't know if you keep it. And we didn't want to reinstall all the plumbing and make it beautiful and the panel because that would be expensive to do. And if we change this, we have to redo it anyway. So we have all these pipes coming in here, the electrics and the plumbing. And as soon as we change this, this will be organized and it will look beautiful. And for now it looks interesting. It looks a little bit like uh, the Centre Pompidou in Paris. This big boy here is strong enough to heat the whole chateau. I think I'm still impressed by it. it we need 45 watts to heat the chateau and to make hot water. And this little machine does that. And it was here and we we're really lucky. So we didn't have to replace it? Yeah, that would have been very expensive to replace and we still haven't found the right system, an alternative system to heat the shuttle. So we are relying on fossil fuel, but it's efficient and it works well. And the day we come up with an alternative system, maybe geothermal, then we can, you know, get rid of it. Plus it's your favorite color, so. And it's the most beautiful color in the world, exactly. When we came down into this cab for the first time, um, it wasn't as messy as this. And we were having a good look around and we uncovered some very exciting things. Maybe perhaps the most exciting thing we've ever discovered in this chateau. And that is some engravings on the wall. We have an engraving 1778 with the initials FLP. So that's one date that we found. And then there's this date here, which is 1545 which is incredible because it predates the current chateau, which is why I believe that this, this, this cav is perhaps the only remaining existing part of the fortified chateau, which is quite incredible. Somebody had been here, you know, 1545 and engraved it. And then I think this date here, 1778, is perhaps the date that the current chateau was built, which would make sense with the 18th century construction. So who was FLP? I don't know. Perhaps we're going to uncover that when we go through all of the documents and decipher them. Um, I don't know if you remember, but we have a huge pile of beautiful old documents, some of them dating back to as early as the 15th century, which is interesting because that would predate even the date here. And you can see here, you can tell that the floor yeah. at one point has been much lower. Because that would have been... Or some other massive beam here, I don't know. Yeah, it's fascinating. I don't understand really what that is. Well, now it is definitely a wine cellar. Yes, or it was. It was because it's <laughs> too messy for now to put any wine in here. And it's also too warm, unfortunately, because we have to boil it here. Yeah. But we want to make it nicer here. And what we want to do is to create a wall here, probably once all this is sorted out and we have a better heating system or a newer heating system. And then we can lock this off and the temperature will stay in here and then this could become a wine cellar again and maybe a tasting room. We can put some gravel on the floor, a barrel, wine, glasses, me, my friends, a cigar, no women allowed. Oh, right, thanks. So for example, here you have some openings that go outside to obviously bring ventilation in and it looks like this is the original 18th century wall and when, before they created the 19th century wing, there would have been the same thing here going on. A ventilation, but now it goes into the kitchen. Yeah. But now it's blocked off. There is a nest of some bird. Oh. There were 
beams supporting another floor. So you think that perhaps underneath where we're standing on this dirt here, do you think if we dug down there would be, I don't know, some fl different floor? Dead bodies. Philip? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it could be, but probably we would find a lot of things. We need to come here with a metal detector. That would be an ex exciting. I definitely think so. I think that we need to invest in a metal detector yeah. for sure. Is there anybody out there who knows what metal detector we would need to buy? Because I researched a bit and there are so many different ones and I don't know what to buy. If you know a model or a brand or anything that could help us to buy the right metal detector, please let us know in the comments. Sorry, that noise is our very noisy <laughs> boiler. And we found treasure here. We didn't find any particularly precious bottles of wine or Calvados or anything, but we did find beautiful old empty bottles like this one. Look at this. These are very nice and probably quite valuable old glass bottles. They're not industrial bottles, so they're beautiful. Just unfortunately they're empty. They have a cork, but they're empty. Is that empty? Yeah, they're empty. How is that possible? They have a cork, but they're empty. I don't know. And here, again, is a collection, a whole collection of little old-fashioned bottles, handmade bottles. Well, I guess they are handmade, or at least they are really, really old with these deep... There's a name for that, I don't know. But they're beautiful. And what are they doing there? Because they weren't producing wine. Uh, or were these Calvados bottles? That might have been, yeah, small Calvados bottles, I would say. But unfortunately, they are all empty. So we're not going to get lucky this no. time. Is there something else we've missed? Oh yeah, look, there's this, Philip. Hmm? This one? Yeah. This is a Marcel Duchamp, an original piece. Worth a fortune. <laughs> no, really. Tell everybody what it is. And you wash the bottles to reuse them, then you would put them here. And I would try. Yeah, it's yeah. full of cobwebs right now. Full of cobwebs, but it's a bottle dry rack. Right underneath there. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's hidden. As you can see, it says, zoom in, hang on. Yeah, it says Sanson 1917. That's when the previous owner's grandparents bought the place and renovated it. So actually we should probably engrave our initials somewhere. Yeah, Philip, 2019. Why not Anna? Well, it's always the man, it's, it's a chateau, it's old fashioned. It's tradition, I'm afraid. It's mm -hmm. not fair, but it's tradition. This is a room. We what discovered a bit later. I didn't discover it. You've discovered it. I I've discovered never been it. in there. And I was super excited because I thought it would lead to another cellar, but it didn't. It does go underneath the staircase, which is exciting enough. But there was nothing in there. It's just another wine cellar. Let's have a look. Come in. And I'm going to show you. Philip, watch your head because there's cobwebs right oh, above yes. you. Oh, yes. Spiders and cobwebs. It's a bottle. There's a bottle, look. Oh! Are you kidding? Did we put that there? Wow! It doesn't, it doesn't look very old. That's a really nice bottle. Chassagne Montrachet. I think it's um, Hervé, a friend of mine. You think he this. planted it down But here? I forgot that. I put it here. That's a very, very nice burgundy wine. <laughs> so. And here, just checking if there's no horrible spiders, Australian-sized spiders, but they are not. So here, there are some crates with bottles, but I believe they are empty. These, what are these? Oh, they're not empty. What? I, I don't know. What are you talking about? I don't know, like there's some bottles. I've never seen these. There's something in it. Have we found more Calvados? Nah, I don't know what it is, but... What's right at the end on the left? I don't know. I've never been there. Wow! What? That's incredible. What is it? Nothing. Oh. This is very interesting. Why is there plaster on the wall? It's very surprising because why would they plaster a wine cellar? It doesn't make any sense. Was it somewhere something else? Was this room something else? Was it a prison? Perhaps. With a young family and the renovations, it's hard to find time to take care of my well-being. But this year, I set myself the goal to not forget to take care of myself 
by trying to do yoga every day and also focus on my nutritional health. We partnered a while ago with Athletic Greens on their nutritional drink AG1 and I'm happy to say that they are this week's ad again. AG1 is made up of 75 high quality whole food sourced ingredients including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics and adaptogens carefully curated to nourish all the body's systems holistically. Together they fuel whole body health impacting everything from sleep, digestion, energy, mood, immunity to the health of your hair, skin and nails. It's an easy routine to start my day every morning the right way. It helps me to stay focused even when multitasking to manage my ongoing to-do list. And because it includes vital stress adaptogens, minerals and vitamins, it enhances my focus, cognition and alertness. Not only obviously do I love the colour, but it tastes really nice. It has like an apple sweet but not too sweet flavour. Go to athleticgreens.com forward slash chateau to get started on your order. Athletic Greens is going to give you guys a one year free supply of their immune supporting vitamin D3 and K2 and five free travel packs with your first purchase. But what's really interesting as we go up out of the cav is that here we can see the original construction. How they made it plaster. How they made the walls. The, yeah, how they plastered. There was obviously no plasterboards then, so they made this wooden structure, then they put some small little wooden slats, Yeah. and then they plastered on top of it. It's incredible. Yeah. Right underneath us is a big cistern that collects all the water that comes from the gutters, from the chateau roof, and also from the roof of the coach house. It never has been cleaned, because in order to clean it, you need to go in there, and they wanted to avoid that until now. We have to clean it in the future because we want to reuse this to collect water, to water the garden and in the future even to run the toilet from the rainwater. But have a look. I must say, last time when I looked into it, there was a really unsightly thing happening. There was a dead rat floating with the legs on the ground in the clear water and was doing this. Like, it was really ugly. I hope that doesn't happen. There's a big one. And there's a small one. Let's see if you can see it by just opening the small one because okay. the big one is very heavy. No. What can we see down there? This, hey. this is, you can see that we did it, we made it. We renovated the network of pipes from the gutters. Mm -hmm. um, it's a bit dirty. So no, that's not it. I don't want to get my delicate influencer hands dirty, so I use a stick. Do you need some help? I can't remember how heavy this is. So this is not gonna work like this. I need something strong. I found it. A handy stick when you need one. A handy one. stick, yes. Wow. This is super heavy. And I don't want it to fall down. Can you hear that? Yeah. And I wonder if we need to climb down there because we need to clean it. And it's not watertight anymore because it's never full. Even now that we have so much rain, it should be, it should be full, but it's empty. If I drop this camera, it would be a catastrophe. Don't drop the camera. No. <laughs> what can you see, Philip? Not much. Find anything interesting? I have seen nothing at all, just water, and that's quite a lot of water actually. I didn't realize, but so how big is it? It's about four meters, five meters in diameter, yeah, and five meters deep, mm -hmm. so it's quite big. We don't have a pump yet there, but we have all the pipes in there, we have electricity, so we just need to get a pump and then we can use this water. We also need to filter it and we also need to 
make it watertight so we will get more water. Ready? There's another thing at the chateau which is as exciting as it's dangerous and that's our well. And it's dangerous because it's over 40, no, over 50 meters deep. And if anything falls down there, it will never come back up. And the interesting thing is this well is said to be here since the 14th century. And if you look at it, it could as well be that old. I would say the, the pipes date from later. We put them in because they are part of our future watering system. Wow, that's crazy, no? Can you see the water at the bottom? Yeah. 50 meters? 50 meters away. <gasps> and does this pipe go all the way down? Uh, this is an old metal pipe that goes all the way down. Wow. See, it's really nicely made in brick. Yeah. Beautiful. Just don't move. You see this down, so it's really nicely made. It's, and it's really rare to have a well that is made out of, of stone like this. Yeah. You can imagine the, the work and the, the time that would be spent to build a well that deep. So it would be really interesting to go down there or to put a camera down or yeah. I don't know, and to explore it further. And I wonder if there was any treasure that was thrown down there. Maybe the treasure's down there. Right. <laughs> Anna. Can we, can we put a I metal should... detector down there or a magnet? We could. Anna, I think you should go down there. I, I think it's worth it. I don't think so. You're the scuba diver, Philip. I reckon you're used to yeah. diving but down it, into This depth. is more the, the cliff jumping domain here. <laughs> what I want to know is if there are any underground tunnels here at the chateau, because I have some suspicion that there is something going on over there on the lawn because even since we've been here in the last three years, I feel like the ground is sinking. Do you not feel like that, Philip? Maybe, I don't know. Something is going on underground. And I feel like we need the time team. If you watch time team from in the UK, you'll know what I'm talking about. Basically, it's archeologists who dig and find treasure. Perhaps it was the fortified chateau foundations. Maybe they were on this part of land. Perhaps there was a tunnel that was going to the 13th century church. Or it was Ziggy, who was just burying a lot of bones there. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. For exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates, have a look at our Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching.